Hello and welcome back to spiderworking.com's video blog and this week I'm going to be showing you how you can get the code to insert a like box onto your website. Now a like box is one of those boxes you may have seen in the sidebar on the bottom of some websites that show not only your Facebook page link but they also show maybe the faces of the people that like your Facebook page. Now this has a huge advantage over adding a button that links through to your Facebook page and that is people can click like on that like box and they remain on your website. So you're not losing traffic from your website. Today I'm just going to show you how you can get the code. You'll either need to pass it on to your web designer or if you update your site yourself either through HTML or a content management system it's quite easy to insert. So log into Facebook and go to your page and I'll show you where to start. Click on Edit Page at the top of your page and Resources on the left hand side. Choose Use Social Plugins and then scroll down until you see Like Box and click on Like Box. Now you just need to change some information here. So the first thing you need to change is your Facebook page URL. So go back into your page and copy everything from the address bar at the top here. And paste it into that box. The next thing you might want to change is the width of your like box. Now you might want to consult your web developer or you might know yourself the width of the section that you want to put it into. So I want to insert this into my sidebar which is 200 pixels wide and I want a little bit of a leeway on each side. So I'm going to make it 180 pixels wide. Again you can set the height so it fits a specific segment of your website if you want to. I'm not going to do that. Next you can choose the colour scheme. So this is the default light colour scheme but you can also choose the dark one if you wish. Now the light one is far more suited to my website so I'm going to stick with the light colour scheme. The next option you have is to show faces. Now this is these at the bottom and I think these are brilliant because if I visit a website and I can see the people I know, people I'm friends with, like the Facebook page of that website, I'm far more likely to click that like button myself. So I'm going to leave the faces in there. The next option is whether you should leave this stream in. Now this is a stream of the most recent Facebook page updates that you've made. Now of course the advantage of this is people are able to see what they're going to get if they do like your page. However, for me this is a bit big for the sidebar of my website so I'm not going to include it. And your final choice is whether you should show the header. So the header is this section that says find us on Facebook. And this is what it looks like without. Now I think I should leave it in there because it's a good call to action and people will understand what the box is all about. Once you've finished the design, if you click on get code and depending on your own web developer's requirements or whether you're doing it yourself, you might choose which one of these that you need. Now for most people and the simplest way of doing this is an iframe. So if we click onto that and before we copy this code and put it into our website you need to make an adjustment. Now this is just a bug in Facebook at the moment so by the time you get around to doing this and this may have gone but just be behind here SRC equals and just before these two forward slashes you want to put in HTTP and colon and once you've done that you can copy the code and insert it into your website or pass it on to your web developer for him to do. In true Blue Peter style, here's one I made earlier, and you can see how it sits into my website. And that's all from me for this week. I'll see you again next week. Don't forget to like us on Facebook where I share lots of hints and tips on using social media for small business. Until next week, bye.